Hi, for this recording, I'm going to show you how to determine the least upper bound of a set. This time, the set E is a set containing 2 minus 3 over square root of n plus 1, for n equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. To do this, we must understand what is the least upper bound. Let's look at the PowerPoint slide. This can be found in David Bannon text, page 25. A real number m is the least upper bound or supremum of a set E if m is a upper bound of E and if m prime less than m then m prime is not an upper bound of E and, it, and in this case we write m is, is a supremum of E so the first thing is to establish that the, the set E has an upper bound and what is the upper bound? Obviously, everything in set E is less than three, less than two, right? So two is the upper bound of E. So we know that since two minus three over square root of n plus one is less than two for every n greater than equal to one, so E is bounded above by two. So two is the upper bound of E. Now, according to the slide, let m be any number such as m less than 2 now. So I want to show that m is not an upper bound of e. So to do that, this is what I do. Take any number, two, take a number say 2 minus 3 over square root m plus 1. Now if I have 2 minus 3 over square root m plus 1 greater than m, this is equivalent to 3 over square root m plus 1 less than 2 minus m and you're taking the reciprocal rule and since square root m plus 1 is greater than 0 and 2 minus m is greater than 0 so just cross multiply the 3 over 2 minus m is less than square root m plus 1 and then squaring both sides the inequality are preserved because both numbers are positive so, making n a subject, we find that n is greater than 3 minus 2 minus 3 over 2 minus m squared minus 1. Therefore, we have seen that now this two element in E is greater than m if m is greater than 3 minus 2, 3 over 2 minus m squared minus 1. This show that m less than two is not an upper bound. All right, but how do we assure that this such n exists? Now this can be found by the Archimedean property of a real number, which says that if you have any real number, there is always an integer n zero such that n zero is greater than three over three over three two minus m square minus 1 since so in that case we have found a number x here where x equal to 3 minus 3 2 minus 3 over square root m plus 1 and x is a number greater inside m inside e and x greater than m therefore the number m now is not an upper bound for e so any number less than 2 is not upper bound now so 2 is the least upper bound for of e now that's the end of the recording.